Hey guys, so today I'm going to go ahead and tell you three stories. Um, they are, they're not scary, but they're kind of like, you know, a little weird. Um, two happened with me here at the house and the uh, third one is just from school. Okay, so the first the first part is uh, that we went to the grocery store one time. And whenever we come back, I would like we would help her uh, put all the stuff back, you know. And sorry, my curtain is like in the way. And um, I remember one time when we came back, she was putting stuff in the fridge, right? And then I saw her go to her room. And when she was going to her room, I asked her, "Mom, where do you want me to put this?" I don't remember what it was, but I was like, "Mom, where do you want me to put this?" and she didn't answer so I was like okay well maybe she didn't hear me you know so I asked her again I was like mom where do you want me to put this and she didn't answer me so she just kept you know walking and everything and I kept repeating myself like almost around five times and by the fifth time I heard my mom said what do you want like not from her room but from the fridge so I turned to the fridge and I'm like like what the hell just happened you know so I turn back and I'm like were you here the whole time and she's like yes I've been answering you and like to tell you where to put it I was like like really because I just saw her go to her room and so now that I think back to it what I was looking at was kind of creepy because my mom was there by the fridge the whole time what I was looking at was a lady that had the same hair as my mom, like long and curly. But the weird thing was that when I looked down, she was wearing like a long white dress and she was like floating. And that creeped me out. The second one is whenever me and my sister which were, uh, was, were sharing the same room, um, I remember we had a zebra lamp. And one time, my sister was like, okay, I'm going to be back. I'm going to go tell something to my dad. So I was like, okay. So whenever she, as soon as she went out of the room, that lamp started flickering a lot and, like, shaking. So that, like, freaked me out because I had never done that before. So I, went, I was going to stay there until it, like, stopped. But it never stopped when I was in the room. So I went to get my sister, and I'm like, you have to come inside to see what's going on with the lamp. So whenever she we came back to our room, the lamp was like just it nothing it just stopped, you know? And I was like, what the heck? So it never did that again, um, so I could tell her. But that's something weird that I also experienced. There was one time a owner and he had a dog. He would be hearing, you know, stuff at his house, and that was just because it was probably old or the wind. That's what he thought. So, one time, whenever he went to sleep, he woke up at 3 or 2 a.m. in the morning because he heard water drops. So, he went to the restroom, he checked, and it was nothing. And that happened for the two days. The, the three days. The fourth day... He got up because he heard the same thing and he saw that it was the sink, the water dripping, so he turned it off. The same thing happened the next day and finally the last day he heard it again. But this time it was louder than usual. He got up, he went to the restroom and he saw that it was in the sink. But he knew that the water drops where by the um in the restroom so when he opened the shower curtain that's where he found his dog dead hanging from the shower and his blood were making those water drops so those are the three stories i wanted to tell you guys just to entertain you um i don't know what they told us the last one in elementary school because we got really it was really traumatizing to like second or third graders i don't know why but i hope you're having a great day stay positive and be safe i'll see you next time